new dad Prince Harry can't take his eyes off baby Archie, friend reveals. Prince Harry can't take his eyes off baby Archie, according to one of his friends. Johnny Hornby, chairman of Harry's charity Santa Ball, opened up about the royal's new role as a dad. He also revealed how another of Harry's friends, professional polo player Nacho Figueras, met the tot last week. Mr. Hornby told U.S. magazine People, you can tell what an incredible affinity he has for children. He is a magnet for children. I didn't think he could have appreciated children more than he did before, but I have seen a whole new involvement with them now that he is a father. Nacho met little Archie last week and said that the Duke couldn't take his eyes off of him, nor his hands. The two of them are just in a state of sheer delight over this birth. It comes as Harry spent his first night away from Archie to take part in his annual charity polo matinee of Santa Ball, which his team won. This year the event took place in Rome and Harry flew out to Italy yesterday to practice. Santa Ball supports children and young people affected by HIV in Lesotho, Botswana, and Malawi. Harry founded the charity with Lesotho's Prince Ciso in 2006. Speaking ahead the match, Mr. Figueras, who was a guest at Harry's wedding, said the new dad was doing great. He added, I just saw him, he's ready for the game and had a good night's sleep, so we're excited about being able to do a great job today for Santa Ball, which is why we're here. Being a father always changes you, he seems to be very, very happy, I think this is a very exciting part of his life. He was ready for it and I think he's loving it. I always thought that he would be an amazing father because he has a great affinity for children, two weeks is very, very soon, but I'm sure he's changed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in a sheer state of delight over the birth of their son Archie Harrison. Just a little over two weeks after the arrival of his son, Harry traveled overseas, again, to Rome for a charity polo match for his organization, sent to ball. And while he's focused on highlighting his charity, which he started in 2006 to support orphans and vulnerable children affected by the HIV and AIDS epidemic in Lesotho, Africa, he's reveling in his new dad glow. You can tell what an incredible affinity he has for children, Johnny Hornby, chairman of Santa Ball, tells people. He is a magnet for children. I didn't think he could have appreciated children more than he did before, but I have seen a whole new involvement with them now that he is a father. Also at the match in Rome is Harry's good friend, Argentine polo player Nacho Figueras. Nacho met little Archie last week and said that the Duke couldn't take his eyes off of him, nor his hands, Hornby adds. The two of them are just in a state of sheer delight over this birth. Figueras and his wife, Delfina Blackweir, traveled to Windsor last week to meet little Archie, and says that the prince is happier than ever. The Duke is the kind of father I always imagined he would be, Figueras tells people. He has always had a great love for children and a great understanding of them. I noticed that becoming a father has influenced him and his dedication and love for the project is now stronger than ever. The Duke is very happy with this stage of his life and I believe he is going to enjoy it very much, he adds. And while Harry has admitted he's getting used to those 4 a.m. wake-ups with Archie, Figueras says he's well rested for the match on Friday. Two weeks after the birth of his baby, the Duke is doing great, he says. I saw him earlier and he is ready. He slept well and is ready to play a great game. He seems to be very happy. I think this is a very exciting part of his life. He was ready for it and he is loving it. As for how Harry is handling his first night away from his new son, Figueras says he's still very present. When duty calls, he is just 24 hours away from home, and I am sure he is doing just fine. He is a wonderful father and very present and he is here for an amazing cause.